Get ready for your daily dose of WordPress and web development tips, tricks, and insights to help you find success with WordPress. You're listening to WP the Podcast with your hosts, David Blackman and Tim Streifler. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of WP the Podcast brought to you by WPGears.com. I'm David Blackman. And I'm Tim Streifler. And this episode is brought to you today by the Divi Business Expert course. If you're a Divi user and you're wanting to take your business to the next level, come see what all the students have to say about the Divi Business Expert course. We've got about 500 students, and it has really taken their business from zero to six figures, some of them a year. Well, that's huge. Come see what they have to say. Head on over to WPGears.com. Check out the Divi Business Expert course. Tim is going to get us kicked off with today's topic, five web design resources you should be using. And I promised yesterday that these are not typical, normal ones that we'll list as a bonus at the end. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, as David mentioned, we wanted these to be a little bit um, outside the box, things you haven't heard of yet. Uh kind of newer resources, but very, very useful. And the first one on our list is undraw.co. So that's the the website domain, undraw.co. And basically what undraw is, is it's open source illustrations. Now you've probably seen uh, these types of illustration images on different websites. For example, Elegant Themes uh, for the Divi layouts they produce, they have a lot of uh, layouts that have these types of illustrations. Um, I think theirs are like fully custom, but not every company has the resources to hire a full-time illustrator to draw these types of things. And so if you go to undraw.co, well, you get to use open source uh, illustration images and they have a whole bunch for different things uh, that are common uh, on the internet and then what's really cool is these things are SVG which means they're very very small very very uh, lightweight in terms of they're not going to slow down your website and so you can actually put in your highlight color and so they're mainly black and white but then they have an accent color and you can put in your accent color that you want for your website and then you basically you just download the SVG and you can add that to your site. Um, so I've used them once. I didn't use it for a website per se. I used it actually for a presentation I gave last month. And so it was a great way to add some color and uh, just kind of some graphics onto my presentation slides. And completely free, very easy. You can use the search to type different things, you know, web page or, you know, customer service or whatever. Uh, and then add your, your your accent color, and then boom, download it, you're done. Awesome. Next on our list, number two, is uigradients.com. If the URL doesn't give it away, this has to do with gradients. And this kind of, what it does is it's a site that allows you to see what colors work well together, and then will give you the gradient of those colors and stuff. So it not only gives you the gradients, you know, the code to put into your site to use for the gradients, it also shows you what colors look good with as with a gradient, such as like red, for example, or orange or yellow or green. You want to know, well, what colors work well with this because you want to keep your brand on point, but you want to give it a little spice and a little bit of creativity and, and make it look a little bit different. And gradients is a great way to do that. So check out uigradients.com. Fantastic website, totally free. Go check it out. Yeah. The next one on our list is lottiefiles.com. Now, Lottie Animations are uh, supposedly the future of interactive design. So they are uh, really cool animated uh, images or graphics. And what's really cool is lottiefiles.com has like a marketplace. And so there's a bunch of free ones that you can use right away, but then you can buy premium ones from independent designers, animators all over the world. Uh, you know, some of them a couple bucks, some of them more expensive. And uh, yeah, there it's a modern uh, interactive animation uh, type of graphic. 
And so there's actually a WordPress plugin um, that will allow you to add these types of animations easily to your WordPress site. I think it's just called Lottie something. If you search WordPress.org, it's one of the only ones last time I checked. Uh, and it's L-O-T-T-I-E uh, is the type of animation. And then the website's LottieFiles.com, L-O-T-T-I-E-F-I-L-E-S.com. Awesome. That was a new one for me. I'm going to be honest. And it's I have been perusing that website, just checking out all of the different uh, things that they have. And, and I got to tell you, that's that's pretty awesome. I'm glad that's the future of web design, Tim, because I think it's clean and it looks just awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, you want to do the next your next one, David? Uh, yeah, let me do the next one. Next one we're going to talk about is Color Hunt. Dot co c o l o r h u n t dot co and what this is is this is a color website similar to Adobe's or many of the other color sites that are out there which will allow you to put color swatches together so for example if you're designing a website and you're you know there's no brand you know there's no um color palette already associated with the site and you've got to come up with some things on your own, this is a great site to do that because it's going to give you five colors that go really well together. It is going to give you their their hex codes, their however you use it, RGBA, whatever. It's going to give you everything you need and it's free. It's going to show you examples of, so if you have a primary color, for example, it's going to give you four other colors that are going to go really well with it. If you have two colors, it'll give you the other three. So it's a pretty powerful tool. It's awesome. It's similar to um, kind of Adobe's, which we'll talk about at the end and the bonuses and stuff, but it, it's a great tool. Check it out, Color hunt.co yeah and the uh, next one on our list is blob maker so it's blobmaker.app is the url and it is a really cool tool for uh, coming up with creative blobs now <laughs> you might not have seen this before maybe you have uh, but blobs have become a somewhat popular design uh, tool i guess uh, design element i should say um, especially for like background image types, things, you know, behind, uh, you know, overlapping, uh, you know, an image overlaps the blob and it's just kind of like a subtle design element on the page. And so the blob maker allows you to generate these SVG blobs and you can, uh, control how many sides it has, you know, the shape, you can randomly generate it. Um, and it's really cool. You can set the color and then you just download the SVG, uh, and add it to your site. And so, um, it's a, yeah, really cool way to add something different to your site. Um, I wish I had a better example, um, to show. Yeah. I remember whenever these came out a few years ago, when people started using them with like Divi, for example, and, you know, it was kind of really good section dividers. You know, normally web's web page would be broken down and let's just say it would have five sections, an about section, a portfolio section, uh, you know, an FAQ section. And those sections typically broke with color distinctions, you know, like, you know, they would be different colors or something, but it would be a straight line across and, you know, these these dividers started being curvy, wavy lines and stuff. And it's very similar to this this blob maker, you know, is it's is it's a it's like a blob that you can put it's it's included in the design element. And that's the closest thing visually that I can give to you audio that may help you visualize it. <laughs> Yeah, and I found a good example. If you go to elegantthemes.com, the creators of Divi, you can scroll down their homepage and they have these blobs in the background. You know, there's these blob type shapes. They're not using, they're using some round circles as well as blobs uh, as kind of subtle backgrounds. Um, and so that can give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out. Yeah, and elegant themes, boy, it doesn't surprise me that they're they're way ahead of the curve design wise. Kenny Singh over there at Elegant Themes is he is on point. He is a world class designer, that's right. All right, tomorrow we've got another great episode for you. WordPress plugin highlight. Wait, we have bonus. Oh, we've got the bonus bonus resources. Bonus resources. Ding ding ding, Tim. Thanks for catching it. Yeah. Uh so you know, some of the more common things that every web designer uses that 
may or may not use, but you've probably used is, uh, I'm just going to name them really quick, Tim. Is that okay? That's okay, yeah. Uh, is Behance. That's the Adobe network where you can go get some design inspiration. Another design inspiration is Dribble. It's also a place where designers will will uh, post their work so that they can get hired. So if you're looking for a designer, head on over to Dribble. You can probably find one as long with Behance. CSS Tricks and CodePen are two awesome websites for the latest things like blob maker (laughs) they teach you how to how to how to do these things with code and how to pop the code and give you the code away for free they're open source platforms doesn't cost anything go check them out code pen css tricks behance and dribble those are our four free bonus that you're probably already using and we didn't want to just use those we wanted to give you some new off the wall out the box as tim said stuff all right, tomorrow we've got another great topic, a WordPress plugin highlight, advanced custom fields. Come check us out tomorrow and learn what we think about that plugin. Tim, until tomorrow, we'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye. We've come to the end of today's episode of WP the Podcast. Join us tomorrow for more daily tips and strategies designed to help you run your WordPress business towards success. Remember to subscribe to WP the Podcast so you can stay up to date with each episode. And don't forget to rate and review us. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on WP the Podcast.